Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about decimal to binary conversion in the number system. So, we started with the number systems in the last video and this is uh, the 26th lecture in uh, the playlist for NCRT class 11 computer science. So, in this video, we will be studying how to convert a decimal number to a binary number. Okay. So, to convert any decimal number into a binary number, there are four to five major steps that you have to perform. Okay. The first step is that given any decimal number, you have to first divide it by two. Now, uh, as of now, we are talking about binary conversion. That is why we are dividing by two. If you have to convert into hexadecimal, then you will be dividing by 16. If you have to convert into octades, uh, octa or octal numbers then you will be dividing by 8 okay so depending upon the uh, base or radix into which you have to convert the decimal number you will be performing the division today since we are doing decimal to binary conversion we will uh, take the input number and divide it by 2 now upon division you will get a question as well as a remainder okay so you will have to keep the remainder aside and again divide the question by 2 and you have to perform this repeated division as long as you get the question as 0 because upon 0 you won't be able to divide it by any number to get any remainder okay so uh, what you have to do you have to perform repeated division as long as you are not getting 0 as the question okay so i'll give you few examples here that have been solved in your book as well as the activity exercises that have been given i'll provide the solutions for those also so stay tuned to this lecture till the end okay so uh, the first question uh, that is given is you have to convert decimal 65 now whenever we write any number in brackets and we write a value here b can be any value if it is 10 it denotes decimal if it is 8 it denotes octa if it is 16 then it denotes that this number inside the bracket is a hexadecimal number okay so you have to be very careful in terms of binary you will get the value of b as 2 okay so if 65 in decimal has to be converted to binary your book says that you will get this as answer now let's see how this is done using these four steps so you have to perform repeated division therefore what you will be do what you will be doing you will take 65 you will divide it by 2 and you will get the question as 32 now for 32 when you divide 65 by 2 with 32 you also get a remainder of 1 okay now you have to divide again 32 by 2 and you will get the question as 16 and remainder as 0 so you have to keep collecting these remainders and at the end you will have to write all these remainders in the reverse order okay so we will see divide 16 by 2 again you get question as 8 and remainder 0 2 into 4 is 8 so question is 4 remainder is 0 then again 2 into 2 is 4 you get the remainder 0 then 2 into 1 is again 2 and you get the remainder 0 now you don't have to stop here you have to divide this 1 as well because you need to get 0 as the question here and in this case also this uh, step is also important when you divide 1 by 2 you get 0 as the question and 1 as the remainder now starting from the bottom remainder and going till the top remainder you have to write the answer in this form so you will first write the last remainder then the second last remainder then the third last remainder and so on and as you will see you will get this as the answer 1 2 3 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 and the last one I'll be writing here and since this value zeros and ones are in binary form because it only has two digits two uh, uh, val two symbols 0 and 1 this is the binary form of 65 okay so now we'll be doing the second question given in your book which is to convert decimal number 122 into the binary form now let's see if 
repeated division and writing the remainders in reverse order gives us this particular answer. So, uh, dividing 122 by 2 gives us the question as 61, remainder 0. Divide 61, you will get 30, remainder as 1. Then, dividing 30 by 2 is completely divisible. So, we will get the remainder as 0 and question 15. Divide 15, you get 7, remainder is 1. 7 is not completely divisible by 2. So, you will get a remainder of 1 again. Again, 3 is not divisible by 2, you will get a remainder of 1 and 1 is also not completely divisible by 2. So, you will get a remainder of 1 here and since we have got 0 here, so we will stop our repeated division here. Okay. So, now what would be the answer? 1, 1, 1 and 1. So, you will write 4 1s and then 0, 1, 0 in the reverse order. So, 0 1 0 and this becomes your equivalent of 122 in binary form okay so writing this is very important why is this important because the digits 0 and 1 also appear in decimal octa and hexadecimal number system you have to specify what does this mean when we'll be studying ahead you can uh, these digits can also represent octa or hexadecimal values okay so you have to be very careful so coming to the second question this okay so coming to the activity 2.2 which lists down three parts uh, you have to convert each of these numbers from decimal to binary so let's take the first part which says 593 in uh, decimal and you have to convert it into binary so you have to perform repeated division pause the video here so that you can uh, see and perform this calculation yourself and then at the end check your answer with the answer that i have calculated okay so i am here also doing the same steps i am performing uh, the division again and again whatever question I get at each step I am uh, again dividing it as long as it is not equal to 0 okay so now in this way I will be writing the final answer in the reverse form so this will be 1 0 0 then 1 0 then 1 triple 0 1 1 triple zero one and this is in binary okay this is very important to specify so one double zero one zero one triple zero and one so it is always a good practice to cross check your answers before going ahead okay now we'll be going to the second part of this question the second part says you have to convert 326 from decimal to binary so, 326 divided by 2 is 163 and it leaves a remainder of 0. 163 divided by 2 is 81, leaving a remainder of 1. When you divide 81, it gives 40 as the question and remainder as 1. Okay, Then, 40 is completely divisible. So, you do not get any remainder. You get a remainder of 0. 20 is also completely divisible. Then, 10 is also completely divisible. Now, when you divide 5, you get a remainder of 1 and question of 2. 2 is uh, completely divisible by itself. So, no remainder and 1 divided by 2 gives you a remainder of 1. So, what are, what is the final answer? Uh, the final answer is 1, 0, 1, triple 0. So, you, from here you will go up. Okay, 1, 0, 1, triple 0, double 1, 0 double one zero this is in binary it is very important to write this two around the bracket i am repeating again and again because it can uh, lead you to problems in exams okay so last part the third part says uh, convert decimal number 79 into the binary form so we divide 79 the question is 39 and uh, we get one as the remainder uh, 2 into 19 is 38 so we get one remainder again 2 into 9 is 18 so uh, we get remainder 1 then dividing 9 by 2 gives 4 so remainder is uh, 1 gives questioned as 4 and the remainder is 1 
and we perform this division as long as we do not get 0 as the question okay and when you get 0 as the question from there onwards you will have to write all the remainders till the top so this value will be 1 double 0 double 1 double 1 okay so please check your answers in case you have any doubts, any problems, you can always mention to us in the comment section below. Let us know how did you find this video. Press the bell icon to get the updates of our upcoming videos uh, when we upload them in future. Subscribe to the channel and press the like button if you understood the concept. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next video. Till then, mind your exam. Thank you.